Wherever I go, wherever I see, I remember yo. If you remember me. Hey guys, welcome to Seven Minutes Study. In this video, I'm going to talk about evolutionary process models, which is the third type of uh, main process models I'm going to cover. Like in the uh, in the previous video, I've talked about waterfall and incremental models. So. As you know, the software evolves over a period of time. As development proceeds, requirements may be changed. So, making a straight line path is unrealistic, as in the waterfall model. So, software engineers need a process model that has been explicitly designed to accommodate a product that evolves over time. These are no these. Rise, these gave rise to the evolutionary process models. These process models are iterative in nature. Examples are like versions of software. Like uh, let's say we have Photoshop. We have Photoshop one, Photoshop two, and CS6 and all, like CC and all. So those are versions of photo, Adobe Photoshop, right? So that that is how evolutionary process models exist. Just like the same, uh, we we release of uh, the f uh, first primary version of uh, software, and with and then we generally evolve each version of software so it is of three types prototyping spiral and concurrent development model so let's go with the prototyping model yeah. often uh, in prototyping uh, the prototyping model uh, has been designed in order uh, to certain uh, to meet some certain requirements like often a customer defines a set of general uh, like qualities or uh, general requirements for software, but doesn't identify detailed input. Pro uh, so this might be uh, this might be like a problematic situation. So uh, in this in this type of model, in prototyping model, the uh, the designing begins with communication. After that, we need to develop a quick design, but it has only important aspects like input and output format uh, that are visible to the customer then we need to construct a prototype so based on the prototype we are going to generate or develop the final product and deploy it to the uh, uh, customer as it satisfies the customer's uh, requirements so the advantages of this kind of uh, like model is that we are going to have uh, like we are going to detect errors at a very a very like very minimal time and then we have we need we need not know input output and processes uh, like in the time of requirements because we are going to interact with the customers directly and then we need uh, and this this model produces or gives a uh, user feedback which is very prompt and uh, which is very fast all right and then the disadvantages are more client involvement is present in this so that uh, it might be sometimes uh, problematic to coordinate both developers and customers and then this re this gives rise to slow processes and many changes may disturb the development team's pro uh, processing or uh, performance now we go with the spiral model the spiral model it uh, spiral model couples the iterative nature of prototyping with controlled and systematic aspects of uh, waterfall model like we can say this is an example of complete versions of software wherein we are going to get the end version and uh, there is no update actually update will be at certain intervals only so uh, spiral model was uh, proposed by bohem and it is the iterative nature of prototyping with controlled and systematic aspects of waterfall model. Here software model uh, is developed in a series of evolutionary releases. In early iterations, we are releasing either a paper model or a prototype model. Then we are going to develop the complete versions of the software. So first we are going to generate the prototype model and then we are going to like uh, and then we are going to completely iterate uh, like we are going to release like the entire version not in types of versions okay we are gen we we are going to release the complete version of the software so beginning at the center we are moving in clockwise direction uh, to start the procedure we are using the generic framework activities at each revolution we are considering the risk 
The main focus of spiral model is to identify the risk at each revolution. Along with that, we are identifying the work products and conditions at each revolution. These are called anchor milestones. In the initial path, we are going we are giving the product specification regarding that pro particular project after then after subsequent passes we are going to we are developing more sophisticated versions of software here we can make adjustments to the project planning according to the requirements cost and schedule over are adjusted based on the customer feedback in addition project manager adjusts the planned number of iterations required to complete the project Unlike other methods, the spiral model is applied throughout the life of this computer software. The first circuit represents the concept development project and continues the multiple iterations until this stage is completed. If the concept is to be developed into an actual project, then the new development project commences. That is, each iteration is taking place as a new product. All right. It considers risks at all stages of product and if properly applied should reduce risks before they become problematic. Advantage of this kind of product is that it is uh, suitable for large and critical projects which reduces uh, uh, as the model is used we can reduce risks uh, in the development of project and then we can uh, the main disadvantage is that it is highly uh, it is co uh, like costly in nature and it is not much suitable for smaller projects. Concurrent development model. This is the last type of model in the evolutionary models. So it is developed as a series of framework activities with their associated states. For example, modeling is given uh, like here. You can uh, you can just go through it. The modeling activity is here. So um, uh, communication activity completed in the first iteration and exists and exists in awaiting changes. All right. And then modeling activity which existed in none state well initial communication was completed now makes a transition into under development state. If however customer indicate any changes in requirements modeling activity moves from under development to awaiting changes state. It is applicable to all types of projects and provide an accurate picture of current state of the project. So this is very much accurate than even spiral model because we here are going to uh, communicate both with the development and the customer team interactively or concurrently. So what the, adva the advantage is that it's applicable to all types of software that is all types of software can be developed using this model and it is very easy to understand gives immediate feedback provides accurate picture of the current state of the project to both developers and customers. Of course, the developers would be ha always having the uh, like accurate picture of project at any uh, in any model, but the customers also will be having a clear cut idea of the project development. And the main disadvantages are that we need to have better communication between the team. The development team sometimes might be confused and uh, requirements to remember status of different activities is required. So this, these are the disadvantages. And so uh, as we can see that sometimes we can have some disadvantages in uh, these incremental uh, so evolutionary models. So this can be concluded in the following, uh, uh, like in the following point that prototyping pro poses a problem because, because of uncertain number of cycles. So if, if evolution is too fast we get confusion in development project so we need to have we we need to inf uh, like maintain the speed so uh, so low that productivity is not affected and we get a good product instead of con uh, confusion between the team and customer so high quality results in late delivery so we need to balance between these two hence these models are developed that is uh, the evolutionary models are developed to double uh, like deployed to develop a software project that is changing continuously so it is very highly uh, it, it is very uh, accurate in nature and it can involve uh, like it can produce high customer satisfaction except for these points can be sometimes critical in development of the model thank you